I'm off to the side today because Kimber wanted to be on camera. So hopefully you enjoy her presence today. <laughs> the first card that came out or the card that came out while I was shuffling was release blocks. So I feel like this is going to be our overall theme for today's message. Gotta love the chaos. I did pre-shuffle, but let's see uh, what other cards want to come out. All right, there were two there. Oh, there were three there. Okay, so we have intuition, releasing, and beginnings. What did I tell you? Intuition, releasing, and beginnings. Intuition, releasing, beginnings, which obviously goes along with this releasing blocks here. So this is beautiful. Okay, so this is you right here, okay? This is you. You have been listening to your intuition. Your guides have been guiding you. We talked about this yesterday for my light workers or people who are questioning if they are a light worker or questioning if they have gifts, but intuition. So you have been listening to your intuition and you have really, truly, honestly been working on what it means to listen to your intuition and deciphering what is intuition versus ego or what is intuition versus what is not intuition. So you have been doing that and you have been following your intuition. But now is the time to release blocks or release what is no longer serving you, okay? And this can happen in so many ways. I hope that sounded right. <laughs> but releasing. So this card represents what your heart or what your soul truly wants you to do and it wants you to release. This can be a relationship. This could be a friendship, you know, tumultuous people. It doesn't have to be. This can also be negative thoughts, overthinking, ways that you have or habits that you have that need to be released. Do you have a bad habit that isn't healthy for you? It's time to release that. Um, are you an overthinker that gets in your own way and therefore you freeze and you don't do what it is that you wanna do? Um, for example, I am somebody, I was just talking to my husband about this over the weekend and I said it's so crazy because I am somebody like I'm very driven and I put my heart into everything that I do, but the second that I get scared or the second that I feel like I'm not good enough, I freeze. And then when I freeze, I freeze for a very long time. <laughs> it could be the Virgo in me, but it, it's just how I am. So it's time to release those thought patterns, habits, things that are bringing you down, okay? And the reason I'm staying broad with this is because it's it's going to be different for every individual. But you need to start doing this, or maybe it could be also that you have been listening to your intuition about this, and therefore you have started the process of releasing. Now look at how dark these two cards are. They're very, very dark. Once you release the blocks and you release what needs to be released, look how bright and happy that New Beginnings card is. That New Beginnings card is beautiful. And look at the tigers on there. I'm really drawn to the tigers. Sorry, my eye is itching. <laughs> I'm really drawn to the tigers here. They are so beautiful. And the beautiful red dress, that's gonna mean something for somebody, I could feel it. But what this is saying is once you can embrace these changes and listen to your intuition and do what is necessary, these new beginnings will start happening for you. And I always like to make it clear, it doesn't necessarily mean that your life is gonna change and you're gonna be a millionaire. I mean, it, it could, but this just means like a new beginning, a new, a new cycle. So once you've released the toxicity, once you have released the toxic things in your life, that's a new beginning. Once you have released the toxic thoughts in your head, that's a new beginning. That's a new cycle. New beginnings. And new beginnings can lead to happiness and abundance. And again, just healing in general. A new beginning and healing is possible. I love that card. I'm really, I don't know, I love that card. Let's get a, these are jar messages, but I keep calling them bowl messages now because they're in the bowl. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything that your angels want to add. We've got two. We've got an orange and a blue. Oh, I just dropped the blue one. 
<clears throat> hewing is not linear. Followed by change the world by being yourself. Ooh, okay. So what your angels are saying here is stay true to yourself. Listen to this intuition of yours. It is okay to release those things that are weighing you down. It's absolutely okay to do that. But remember that healing is not linear. Releasing these blocks is not easy. You might be okay one day, and then the next day, you might not be. As long as you are releasing these things, that new beginning is possible. Healing is possible. So that new beginning could literally just mean that you're going to be healing. You're going to be the best version of yourself that you can be. So be that. Release what is no longer serving you. Release what is draining you. Release those toxic thoughts so that you can have this new beginning. I really hope that this message helped you today. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.